Ladies and gentlemen, for the last two months, there is one question that has repeatedly been asked in classrooms and courtrooms, on the streets and in government press conferences. Was the neat paper that admits students to medical colleges across this country leaked or not leaked? Simple question. And if it was leaked, just how widespread is that leak? Is it big enough to cancel the results and order a retest for all 23 lakh students? For the last two months, there has been no answer. But we do have a CBI probe that has arrested 17 people, amongst them four students from Ames, Patna, who were arrested today. Now, the Supreme Court will have an answer for us, hopefully on Monday before lunch. That's what they have said. But before that, the top court has ordered a reluctant government to publish the entire result of this year's exams center-wise. The court has also said that the names of the students has to be masked to protect their identity. This exercise has to be done by Saturday, 12 noon. Now, this is exactly what most students have been demanding. They say the only way that their doubts about a paper leak will be cleared is if they have the entire mark sheet and can do the math themselves. The Supreme Court is hearing the neat issue that has vexed 23 lakh students ever since the results were declared on the 4th of June. The Supreme Court has acknowledged that there have been paper leaks in Patna and Hazaribagh. But they say a retest will only and only be ordered if the paper leak has actually travelled outside of Bihar and Jharkhand. The Supreme Court, as you know, is hearing opposing petitions on the neat retest issue. 131 petitioners right now in court are asking for a retest and 254 petitioners are actually opposing this retest. My guest this evening, Keshav Agarwal, is the president, Edu Educator Society of India, joining us on the broadcast. Ira Ali is a neat aspirant, joining us as well. And Abhishek Sudhir is an advocate. He's with us on the broadcast as well. Uh, thank you very much, Keshav Agarwal. I'm going to join you first. You, for a long time, and you've been on this show many, many times before, have been telling us that if the hands of the NTA are clean, the simplest thing they can do is publish the entire result. Do it. Let us do the math, let us do the calculation, and we'll figure out whether there has been mass paper leak and cheating or not. Are you happy with yeah. what the Supreme Court has done? Yes. And what least, problem finally. will it solve? Explain yeah. to our viewers what exact problem will it solve. Yeah. See, finally, we are happy that after around one and a half month or more, we got some positive breakthrough. I still remember the 13th June show with you where we were debating on this, why entire data? Now you see, NTA mm. has been lying to the court, leave apart government and hiding. Today, many facts started coming out. Now it only shows what suits it. And if you uh, see the order when it was made, they were jumping around that, please don't release the city. And logic given was coaching centers mm. will use the how will coaching centers use? Is there a telephone number? Is there an address? Bizarre logic. Why they are afraid? Mm. I'll tell you. There are many black markers. Now, one which was not raised today, we were there in the court and we have kept it like one student scores a 705 in NEET and the same student fails in board exam. Is this not a black marker? 15,000 students enter through re-window and 44 of them have scored 600 plus. You mean to say those 15,000 were waiting. Unko Bhagwan ne aake bataya in dreams, this re-window will open on 9. Any good student would not have waited. It was only one student who went to Rajasthan court and court asked instead of opening for one, why you opened for all? They said there were emails. Now, emails I can do as an agent. There is no uh, veracity of that. Mm. So when now this data comes out, we will mm. try to find many things. Each center, they say it's evenly spread. Now, for instance, I was there in the court mm. listening from Patna Kitne hai. Bara center se 1500 kuch. So if 100 per center is coming, mm. 4750 will see how even it is from which center what happened. And you see, just 100 data was released. Okay. 
and there was lot on mm. lots of questions. Now they are releasing 23 lakhs. They will have to answer so many things. Today they did not have answer even for the second question paper mm. which they hit. And they told lie. Bhadur had eight topper and you get a, gave a different paper and told court that there was time for. So you are lying one by one. How long will this mm. continue? Net, okay. you could not do continuity. Okay. Children okay. are so. Okay. No, just I'll, a minute here, Keshav. The fact minute. is that, yeah. uh, yes, yes, just, just give me a minute here. I want to get Ayat. The fact is, yes, the court has, uh, you know, the court has respected the wishes of students and coaching centers and parents, and they are releasing all the data on the exam results, masking the identity of students. All that is very well. But look at what the Supreme Court has said in its observations. By the looks of it, the Supreme Court is accepting, and they've said this in court today, we are accepting that in Patna, there has been a leak. In, in uh, Hazari Bagh, there has been some sort of leak. Godhra, it seems, was an isolated incident. We will not order a retest if there is no mass paper leak. And so far, the CBI has not found any evidence of a mass paper leak. So are you hopeful in that sense that a you know a neat a retest will happen, given the fact that the Supreme Court wants to finish off hearing the matter on Monday before lunch? Is it to me or uh, Ira? No, that was for Ira. Ira, that question was for you. I think Ira, you're uh, on mute. You'll have to unmute yourself. As the Supreme Court has asked the NTA to release the results with fictitious roll numbers by Saturday, mm -hmm. 12 noon, I think uh, if the mass paper leak is proven, that there is a slight chance that Supreme Court conducts the exam for the people who fit in this range of landing a government college. I mean, uh, I think uh, conducting an exam for 24 lakh students is obviously not feasible. The least we can do is take 20% from all the categories and conduct their exam. So we know that justice has been served. Mm. Mm. But yeah, it is. it will not be fair to those 20% from all categories, na, then? They can also stand up and say, why us? Why just us? I mean, uh, the paper leaks have been proven time and again. There are reports surfacing every other day from various cities that paper has been leaked. So I think um, it's just not fair. Okay. The rank uh, let me get Abhishek Sudhir. Abhishek Sudhir, hi. Okay, uh, Abhishek Sudhir, just come yes. in. See, see, I think there is no doubt or question about the fact that the NEET exams have been mismanaged at mm. every level. For heaven's sake, look at what had happened in Hazirabad. That to me is absolutely shocking. It takes six days for the paper to reach Haz Haz Hazirabad, bug, and then what happens after that? Mm. Uh, you you find it in an e-rickshaw, and the you know, the, uh, the courier service, instead of delivering it to the bank, where it's supposed to be, goes and deliver it, delivers it to the principal, who has now been arrested by the CBI. So, it's a mistake. Now, the question is, is this paper leak slash garbar only in Jharkhand and Bihar, or is it across India? Is it yeah. for the students and the coaching center and the parents to prove that it is across India? It is for the CBI to probe. The CBI is still probing the matter. Till the CBI is probing the matter, should, should we not... Should the Supreme Court not wait for that investigation to get over before it decides on whether a retest should happen or not? Okay, look, the next important date uh, is July 24th. Monday. Uh, no, uh, in terms of the counselling for the examination. Yeah, but Monday is when the Supreme yeah. Court is saying, we want to finish this off before lunch. No, what they've basically said is first, if it's proved mm. by the investigation of the Central Bureau of Investigation, if the investigation proves that the paper leak was widespread. Mm. The integrity of the exam is compromised in its entirety. Mm. Of course, it's far from ideal what has happened. There have been lapses in Patna and Hazari Bagh. There have been lapses. Mm. Of course, there have been. But 23 lakh students have participated in this examination. Mm. So far, the leaks seem to be confined to Patna and Hazari Bagh. The Supreme Court has simply said this. Let the CBI investigate hmm. and let the CBI determine if the integrity of the exam in its entirety has been compromised. So far, 
no evidence has come forward which shows that the integrity of the exam in its entirety has been hmm. compromised. Now, what the student on your show is saying, we can't just pluck 20% from here, 20% from there. At the end of the day, the marks are the marks. Simply because a large number of students have scored a higher number of marks than previous years. Hmm. You cannot cast aspersions and say they've all cheated. And the student also said, well, there have been paper leaks in the past. But the students who have given this examination, who have prepared for this examination and have given this examination mm. without cheating, you can't label them as cheaters simply because they've got more marks than students from previous years. Mm. You can't cast aspersions. The paper leak has not been widespread. How as do we so know that? far, that's what the How investigation do we know that? demonstrates. How do we know that? Of course, it's not final. Let the CBI complete its investigation. There is no rush in the sense that counselling begins on July 24th. Counselling is a two to three month process. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court has maintained throughout the vacation bench, mm -hmm. hearing the matter in June, and now the bench headed by CGI Chandrachud has said, if it comes to light that the integrity of the examination in its entirety mm -hmm. has been compromised, we will have no option but to order a retest. Correct. Take but it. you can't order a retest for a few students, uh -huh. not order a retest for a few other students. Now, for example, they had a retest for students who were given grace marks, if you remember. Uh -huh. They had the option of retaining the marks they've got, basically by not reappearing, or reappearing and improving their score. The attendance there was hardly 50% for the retest. A lot of the students chose to keep their marks. Now the question, the, with the grace marks removed, uh -huh. right? Now the question is, do you penalize 23 lakh students for the 150 students who might have had access to the paper? Mm -hmm. The CBI seems to be indicating mm -hmm. that they will be able to forensically pinpoint where the leaks took place on the basis of their investigation. You know, again Let I'm saying, do their job. Hazari Bagh and Patna, hmm. we know people have been arrested. Uh, you know, the picture you're painting essentially is jo pakda gaya wo chor, everyone else Mahatma Gandhi. The no. fact is, we do not know if there are more cheats in and around India. At the end of and the day, investigations can take very, very long. It's a big country. After all, right. there are 24 lakh students who had written this exam. See, Shreya, Keshav, how do you stop, do you, can you stop the counselling process on a hunch or on aspersions? Keshav, the, Argarad, NTA, that's the, a, the NTA Director General has lost his job. You know, the, the government NTA, is taking accountability. The, no, no, no. The NTA has no credibility. The NTA right. today has told the Supreme Court hmm. that the paper was leaked or what, you know, made available publicly hmm. uh, only a few hours before the exam started. So the Supreme Court today is questioning and mm. doing the math for us and saying, you mean in 45 minutes, uh, the solvers solved the paper mm. and then these 18, 20 students in 20 hours mugged up those answers and came to the examination so centre. Yeah, so is lot, not widespread. Lot, there is no evidence of the leak being lot widespread. Lot of the things right? that NTA has been telling even the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court is questioning today in the court. Mm. Keshav Agarwal, would you want to come in here that it's simply unfair. If there are 130 plus students who are in court asking for a retest, then there are 250 plus students who are saying no retest. Now, if you listen to me two minutes, I'll give you a perfect answer for this. Now, see, the main contention of NTA in its reply for high scores is the syllabus reduction. And it will mm. prove everything just now. Now, it did not tell court that mm. similarly syllabus was added. And this was given today. And court questioned them why it was not told that syllabus was added also. Point two, the same reduction happened in mm. JE main exam. You don't see any inflation this year. Please keep listening. Any inflation in JMN, the result is normal. Point three, the board exam results. There was no inflation and students scoring 100 have come down. Now, why I'm saying board exam, the NEET exam and board exam result are almost similar. And one fact is that board exam, you just have one year syllabus and need two years. In board, the same students did not show any extraordinary per, uh, performance. Four. The extraordinary performance is only in 600 to 720. With same paper, that performance is not going down. It's not percolating down. So therefore, you can't see 500% jump in a year. These things are not normal. At one place, you say paper is the high score. Other place in boards, it is not happening. Fifth, if you find students scoring 705 in board exam, uh, sorry, NIT, just means the student got three questions wrong and in state board failing in two subjects, mm. isn't it a big black marker? Now, mm. due to this, the leak mm. which was... No, there are up. many red no, flags. There is no I, doubt about that. No, how can a judge, if I was listening to Mr. Agarwal, how can I as a judge accuse 
all of these students of cheating you are serves in the realm of not. conjecture you are analyzing not. the marks from one sec one sec let me just make my point you one sec one sec i just hear me out you are analyzing the marks from this year comparing it to the marks of previous years and you are saying that on the basis of some 150 students saying that oh these marks are inflated you want the supreme court to cancel the examination the other 23 lakh students who's representing their interests their voice is not being heard before the supreme court the court in his parents patriot jurisdiction what that basically means is the court has to step in for those students and think of the interests of those students all 23 lakh of students have not approached the supreme court how can you analyze the marks and say oh look at the cbsc results look at these results look at the years for results from previous years if you sir have concrete evidence of cheating if you have concrete evidence of a widespread leak please produce it if you don't have it let the cbi do its job we cannot go on the hunch of mr agarwal and his formulas and his theories and cancel an examination for 20 lakh students okay. and the mbbs admissions will yes. suffer the country already is facing a shortage of doctors we but saw sir, that during the covid crisis we have to grow up and no, no. act like adults okay, but that this doesn't is a case mean, of saw grapes no, yeah but that doesn't mean we get cheats as doctors no, treating no, us not about cheats how can you yes, say we are cheats as doctors we don't have evidence 150 students have had access to the paper how can you label all 23 lakh is cheats yeah. that's not possible look here this is a gigantic leap you're making okay you know the fact is there are a section of people like mr agarwal like the young student on our show that there has been a paper leak and this paper leak has spreads far and wide it's not just concentrated in bihar and jharkhand and then there are those who say it's localized it's happened in bihar and jharkhand it hasn't happened beyond that now it is up to the supreme court to decide which way it wants to go whether it orders a neat uh, retest or not uh, for the moment the way it has been going uh, I don't think that a retest is what is going to be ordered on Monday but we'll wait and see I don't want to second get the uh, second guess the supreme court here we'll leave it there for the moment keshav agarwal thank you very much we'll speak once again on monday airali thank you very much.